Hello! In this video, we are going to prove the following theorem. The limit as x approaches 1 of x over x plus 1 is equal to 1 half. Now really, we're dealing with the limit of a function. Which function exactly? Well, we can perform x over x plus 1 for any real number that is not equal to negative 1. So really, the function that we're dealing with is the function f from the set of real numbers not equal to negative 1 to the set of real numbers, defined by f of x equals x over x plus 1. And the whole goal is to show that the limit as x approaches 1 of our function is equal to 1 half. What does that mean? Well, by the epsilon delta definition of the limit of a function, it means the following. It means for every epsilon greater than zero, there exists a delta greater than zero, such that for all x in the domain of our function, if zero is less than the absolute value of x minus one is less than delta, then the absolute value of x over x plus one minus one half is less than epsilon. Okay, so the whole goal is to prove this limit. And to prove it, all we got to do is prove that this statement is true. So since we're trying to prove a statement about all epsilon greater than zero, give me an arbitrary epsilon greater than zero. And from here, we want to find a delta greater than zero that makes this statement turn out true. Now, let's pretend as though we've already figured out what to choose delta to be. And with this choice of delta, we're going to show that this statement is true. And since we're trying to prove a statement about all x in the domain of our function, give me an arbitrary x in the domain of our function. And from here, we want to show if this is true, then this is true. And to do that, suppose this is true. And from here, we want to show that the absolute value of this guy is less than epsilon. So let me start out by writing the left-hand side of this inequality. And the whole goal is to make this guy less than epsilon. And in the process of doing so, we're going to figure out what we should choose delta to be. Okay. Now to start, let's combine these two into a single fraction. To do that, we'll multiply both the numerator and denominator of this guy by 2. And we'll multiply both the numerator and denominator of this guy by x plus 1. As you can see, we have common denominators, so we can combine these two guys into a single fraction. Now really, the numerator simplifies to x minus 1. And when we're taking the absolute value of a fraction, we can rewrite this as the absolute value of the numerator over the absolute value of the denominator. And we can rewrite the denominator as 2 times the absolute value of x plus 1. So at this point, we have re-expressed this guy as this. So what should we do from here? Well, notice we have an absolute value of x minus 1. And we know that absolute value of x minus 1 is less than delta. So Let's apply this inequality to what we have here. Really, if we take this inequality and divide by 2 absolute value of x plus 1, we're going to get that this guy is less than delta over 2 times the absolute value of x plus 1. In fact, we can get rid of the 2 as well, right? This guy is just less than delta over absolute value of x plus 1. But now, what should we do from here? Well, maybe we should start thinking about what we should choose delta to be. Hmm. Well, a trick that we can use to define delta is we can define delta so that delta is the smaller of a list of positive numbers. So let's say we define delta so that delta is less than or equal to 1. What happens if we do that? Well, since absolute value of x minus 1 is less than delta and delta is less than or equal to 1, these two inequalities tell us that absolute value of x minus 1 is less than 1. And to say that the absolute value of something is less than 1 means that the thing that we're taking the absolute value of love lies between negative 1 and 1. So x minus 1 lies between negative 1 and 1. 
If we add 2 on all three sides of this inequality, we get x plus 1 lies between 1 and 3. Therefore, x plus 1 is positive. Because x plus 1 is positive, we can get rid of these absolute values. So really, delta over the absolute value of x plus 1 is equal to delta over x plus 1. But then, since x plus 1 is greater than 1, and these guys are both positive, what that means is, is if we take the reciprocal of both sides of this inequality, all that's going to do is flip the inequality around. We get that the reciprocal of x plus 1 is less than the reciprocal of 1. Or in other words, the reciprocal of x plus 1 is less than 1. And if we take this inequality and multiply delta on both sides, we get that delta over x plus 1 is less than delta. So this guy is less than delta. So at this point, we have made this guy less than delta. We want to make this guy less than epsilon. Well, all we got to do is define delta so that delta is less than or equal to epsilon. If we do that, well then, delta is less than or equal to epsilon, and so we have made this guy less than epsilon, which is what we wanted. So, we're defining delta so that delta is the smaller of a list of positive numbers. Namely, that list of positive numbers consists of 1 and epsilon. If we define delta to be this positive number, then this argument will follow. Okay, so now let's put this all together. What have we done here? Well, we see that under the assumption x is a real number not equal to negative 1, it follows that if this is true, then this guy is less than epsilon. Since x is arbitrary, this means we are shown for all real numbers x not equal to negative 1. If this is true, then this guy is less than epsilon. So we have found a value for delta, which makes this statement turn out true. Which means we have shown that this is true. And we showed that this is true under the assumption of some arbitrary epsilon greater than 0. Since epsilon was arbitrary, this means we have shown for all epsilon greater than zero, this is true. So we have proven this entire statement, which means we have shown that this limit is true. So this completes the proof. And so yeah, that's pretty much it for this video.